Planet Earth has once again exhibited its disastrous nature this time in Iceland. After thousands of residents evacuated from Grindavik town following predictions of a coming eruption, recent images and live streams have clearly shown a furious volcanic eruption from the Rake Jane's Peninsula cracking the Earth open. The shocking event isn't the first of its kind, as the area has reportedly been a victim of several other volcanic eruptions in the past month. What happened during the eruption, and what could it really mean? Could it be merely a natural occurrence or a scary warning from God? Let's find out the shocking details of this disaster as we answer these pressing questions. In a sudden turn of events, a volcano has unleashed its fiery might in Iceland, creating a breathtaking spectacle that has captivated onlookers. This sudden eruption follows a period of heightened seismic activity, serving as a reminder of the dynamic forces at play beneath the Earth's surface. The Rake Jane's Peninsula, known for its geological vigor, has become the stage for molten rock to burst forth from the ground, an awe-inspiring display of nature's raw power. Local news outlet RUV, through images and live streams, has vividly documented the volcanic drama unfolding in Iceland. Lava, with its vibrant hues, dances through the air as it erupts from fissures in the earth, creating an otherworldly panorama. The Icelandic Meteorological Office reports that the lava is emerging from a substantial crack in the Earth's surface, stretching approximately two miles a testament to the magnitude of this geological event. The crack's rapid growth has added a dynamic element to the unfolding narrative, showcasing the unpredictable nature of volcanic activity. Before this eruption, a precautionary evacuation had been executed, relocating nearly 4,000 residents from the fishing town of Grindavik in the country's southwest. The decision to evacuate was grounded in mounting concerns about the potential eruption from the Rake Jane's Peninsula. This strategic move to ensure the local population's safety highlights the proactive measures taken in response to the unpredictable nature of volcanic events. The entire seismic unrest, evacuation efforts, and the subsequent volcanic eruption paint a vivid picture of the delicate balance between human habitation and the untamed geological forces that shape our planet. Recently, the Icelandic peninsula has reported several volcanic eruptions, particularly in unpopulated areas. Still, the current one raises concerns as it is perceived to pose an imminent risk to the nearby town. This eruption has garnered attention not just for its occurrence, but for the potential threat it holds for the town's residents. The Icelandic Met Office, responsible for monitoring geological activities, has closely observed the situation. Seismic activity, coupled with data from GPS devices, has provided crucial insights. The indications suggest that magma is moving, heading southwest, potentially extending its eruption towards Grindavik. This specific direction raises apprehensions about the impact on populated areas. Vider Rianissen, the head of Iceland's Civil Protection and Emergency Management, shared insights with the Icelandic public broadcaster RUV. He highlighted a significant aspect of the eruption, the magma flow rate. Estimates suggest that the magma is moving at a considerable rate, at least 100 cubic meters per second, possibly even more. This rate characterizes the eruption as substantial for the region, considering the geological context of the area. The implications of such a magma flow rate are multifaceted. Firstly, it shows the magnitude of the eruption, emphasizing that it falls within the category of a substantial event for this particular region. Secondly, the direction of the magma flow towards Grindavik raises concerns about the potential impact on populated areas. This situation prompts a closer examination of emergency preparedness measures and evacuation plans to ensure the safety of residents. It becomes a matter of immediate concern due to its closeness to populated regions, necessitating a coordinated effort in monitoring, communication, and emergency response. The evolving situation will undoubtedly demand continued attention and proactive measures to safeguard the well-being of the affected communities. Local authorities responded swiftly to the recent volcanic eruption near Grindavik. The popular Blue Lagoon geothermal spa closed temporarily for public safety, and the police raised their alert level due to potential risks. Civil defense warned the public to stay away as emergency teams assessed the situation. The Icelandic Meteorological Office updated the eruption's location and size on its website, deploying a Coast Guard helicopter for further evaluation. Despite concerns near the international airport in Reykjavik, it remains open, emphasizing the need for continuous monitoring to ensure safety. These efforts reflect a coordinated response by authorities, highlighting the importance of prioritizing safety and adapting to such natural events. 
On a plane headed to Manchester, passenger Helen Hope shared the unfolding events with Sky News. Initially intriguing, the situation turned concerning, amplifying uncertainty as delays persisted. Passengers shifted from curiosity to heightened awareness, showing urgency to understand the unusual event. Hope highlighted the pilot's crucial role, awaiting safety clearance, considering factors like wind direction and ash presence for a safe flight. In the lead-up to the volcanic eruption, there was a notable sense of anticipation and concern. Just a month prior, the entire country was on high alert as authorities declared a state of emergency, signaling the potential for a volcano eruption. The focal point of this volcanic activity was the Rake Janes Peninsula, an area known for its seismic hotspots located approximately 30 miles southwest of Reykjavik. During the weeks preceding the eruption, the peninsula experienced a flurry of seismic activity, with hundreds of small earthquakes occurring daily. This heightened seismicity set an uneasy atmosphere, raising questions about the impending volcanic events. Icelandic authorities were not taking any chances, and plans were underway to safeguard the town of Grindavik, which faced potential threats from the volcanic eruption. Scientists closely monitored the situation, identifying the most likely site for magma to breach the Earth's surface. The concern was that this eruption could directly threaten Grindavik, with the possibility of molten lava flowing toward residential areas. In response, Alman of Arner, the Icelandic civil defense, formulated a plan to protect the evacuated town. The proposed strategy involved the construction of earth walls designed to divert the flow of molten lava away from Grindavik. This practical approach aimed to channel the destructive force of the eruption, minimizing the impact on populated areas. The urgency of these preparations highlighted the delicate balance between human settlements and the mighty geological powers at play in Iceland. As the community waited and prepared for the eruption, there was a palpable tension in the air, with the potential danger and the resilience of human efforts evident in the face of natural phenomena. The events leading up to the eruption stressed the intricate relationship between Iceland's inhabitants and the dynamic forces shaping its landscape. How do volcanic eruptions happen? And what could have triggered this volcano in Iceland to erupt? Picture the Earth as a giant puzzle, its pieces, tectonic plates, constantly shifting in a grand geological dance. These plates are anything but static. They drift, collide, and pull apart, generating stress and pressure along their boundaries. This dynamic interaction becomes the precursor to nature's fiery exclamation marks, volcanic eruptions. Deep within the Earth, beneath the surface we tread, a magma chamber lies in wait. This chamber houses magma, a formidable blend of molten rock, gases, and mineral crystals simmering with potential energy. As the tectonic plates engage in their geological ballet, the pressure on this subterranean chamber can escalate. Imagine this pressure as a tightly coiled spring, ready to release its pinup force. When the pressure becomes too intense, the earth vents its internal energy. The magma, eager to find an escape route, breaches the surface in a spectacular display of molten power. This phenomenon, the volcanic eruption, is nature's response to the intricate movements of tectonic plates. The molten rock, expelled from the depths, cascades down the slopes, leaving in its wake a trail of destruction and transformation. The gases, once confined within the Earth's embrace, now billow into the sky, painting the atmosphere with hues of ash and steam. Mineral crystals, forged in the cauldron of the Earth's interior, become part of the geological narrative. Volcanic eruptions, though potentially destructive, are a testament to the Earth's dynamic nature. They reshape landscapes, create new formations, and, in a paradoxical dance of destruction and creation, contribute to the ever-changing canvas of our planet. When Earth's internal forces build up immense pressure, it's like a secret traveler trying to burst through a sealed door. This pressure seeks release, and when it reaches a breaking point, the Earth's crust provides an exit for this impatient energy. Imagine the excitement of opening a shaken soda bottle, where the built-up pressure propels its contents outward dramatically. A volcanic eruption follows a similar explosive journey, as magma finds weak points in the Earth's crust, forcing its way to the surface. Visualize the magma's ascent like the effervescent spray of a shaken soda, only on a geological scale. When magma reaches the Earth's surface, it transforms into lava, the molten rock that paints landscapes and molds the Earth's features over time. Lava, in its flowing manifestation, shapes terrains, leaving behind a testament to the Earth's dynamic and ever-changing nature. Volcanic eruptions are not merely nature's spectacle, they are essential contributors to the Earth's topographical canvas. Picture the birth of mountains and islands as a direct result of these powerful geological events. 
Volcanic landscapes are sculpted over time, serving as a living record of Earth's geological history. Sometimes, eruptions bring more than just flowing lava. Ash clouds billow into the sky, carrying volcanic gases and pulverized rock particles into the atmosphere. This atmospheric display is a reminder of the intricate interplay between Earth's internal forces and the external environment. Volcanic eruptions have far-reaching effects, impacting climates and the delicate balance of the Earth's ecosystems. Simply put, the drama of a volcanic eruption isn't confined to its immediate surroundings, it's a dynamic force that contributes to the ongoing narrative of the Earth's evolution. From the explosive release of pressure to the artistic dance of flowing lava and the transformative impact on landscapes, volcanic eruptions are nature's way of shaping the ever-evolving story of our planet. The recent volcanic eruption in Iceland has captured the world's attention, sparking curiosity about the natural factors that may have triggered this dramatic event. To understand the eruption, it's crucial to delve into the geological dynamics that define Iceland's landscape. Iceland, located on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, experiences the constant dance of tectonic plates beneath its surface. This region serves as a meeting point for the North American and Eurasian plates, creating an environment where geological forces constantly move. The movement of these plates contributes to the formation of magma chambers beneath the Earth's crust. One key factor in volcanic eruptions is magma accumulation within these reservoirs. Over time, magma builds up, creating pressure beneath the Earth's surface. The intense pressure seeks an outlet, leading to volcanic vents that rupture the Earth's crust, resulting in an eruption. In the case of Iceland, the geological conditions, especially its position on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, make it particularly susceptible to such volcanic activities. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge is a significant geological feature that runs through the Atlantic Ocean. It marks the boundary between tectonic plates, where new oceanic crust is formed as magma rises from the mantle. Iceland's location on this ridge exposes it to the intricate interplay of geological forces. The eruption could manifest the ongoing processes beneath the Earth's surface, shaped by the movement and interactions of these tectonic plates. The recent volcanic activity in Iceland is a vivid reminder of the Earth's dynamic nature. It highlights how geological forces, driven by the shifting plates beneath our feet, can give rise to awe-inspiring yet potentially destructive events. The interconnectedness of Earth's geological features, combined with magma accumulation over time, contributes to the complex tapestry of volcanic activities observed in regions like Iceland. Environmental factors such as changes in temperature and pressure can also play a role. These changes may influence the stability of the Earth's crust and contribute to the conditions that lead to volcanic eruptions. Iceland, with its dynamic geological setting, is particularly prone to these natural phenomena. Human activities, while less likely, can also be a contributing factor. While biological processes primarily drive volcanic eruptions, certain human-induced activities, such as drilling or geothermal projects, have the potential to impact the stability of underground structures and influence volcanic behavior. The recent volcanic eruption in Iceland has sparked global discussions, evoking awe, concern, and scientific curiosity worldwide. Social media brims with conversations, marveling at nature's might and expressing empathy for those affected. It's prompted reflections on climate change and Earth's dynamics, pondering our relationship with nature. Some interpret it religiously, attributing it to divine punishment or a natural phenomenon, while scientific explanations, rooted in Earth's geological processes, shed light on its cause. Science and technology enable us to understand and study these phenomena, driving a renewed interest in Earth sciences and geological insights. This eruption encapsulates diverse perspectives shaping our understanding of natural phenomena, emphasizing the role of science and technology in unraveling the mysteries of our planet. The global dialogue around this eruption continues to evolve, engaging varied viewpoints and highlighting humanity's diverse interpretations of such natural occurrences. Thanks for watching everyone. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button below and subscribe. See you in the next video.